Hey guys, welcome back. Bushcraft family back again with another video. And this one is kind of interesting. This this is uh, five seeds that you need to stockpile uh, in your pantry or wherever. You, you know what I mean by uh, saving these seeds. Um, some are kind of seeds, some are not. You'll, you'll kind of get it. Um, right now the world is struggling to feed everybody. <laughs> And it is not getting going to get any better anytime soon. Uh, they have now started to try to combat this hunger and thing is the bioengineered ingredients and stuff. I've done plenty of videos, so you can go back and check them out and whatnot. But not to mention the test tube meat coming in all the all the stuff that they're growing in test tubes and scientists are making it and things like that. It's, it's something that I don't want any part of. I want stuff that was made by God, not by a man. Um, but anyways, these five seeds are things that would get you Get you by, basically, and it's carbs, vitamins, that type of stuff, um, and it's and the kind of kind of seeds you want to uh, store are the heirloom seeds. Uh, come from original cultiv cultivated plants, and often have de disease resistance. Oh, sorry. And uh, with others and in, in other types of plants like that, uh, they are hardy and they don't contain modified genes. Main thing. Uh, that's one thing you want to look for in, in your seeds. Not none of the GMOs or any of that junk. So let's get go ahead and get started with this. Um, number one is squash seeds. Yes, there's all kinds of different squash. There's zucchini, yellow squash, pumpkins, um, all kinds. Uh, and there's different things that you can do with each of these different types of squash. You can you can grind, dehydrate them, grind them up for br for flour, make bread and stuff out of them. Um, they're they're really really good for you. They're um, vitamins A and vitamin C, as well as um, magnesium and potassium. So really good things that you, you need to sustain yourself. The next one would be, um, and, and this gets, some, some may think uh, a little different on this one. Now I'm going to say green beans. No, I'm not saying beans. Because beans are, let's put it, they're, they're pretty cheap, especially right now. They're still pr pretty cheap. Um, they, they store really good. You can store uh, pounds and pounds of them. They're easier to store and whatnot. Um, so you really don't need that as a staple, uh, as as the within this list and the reason i say green beans um they contain high high levels of vitamin a uh antioxidants um which is really good for your health your your heart health they also have b12 b6 vitamin c um so so much in the actual green bean that is really good for you and it's a pretty easy crop to grow. There's different types, different varieties. There's ones that that are vining. There's bush type. There's all all, all different types. The next one, yes, this is this is another one that throws people off. But you'll wait and see when I explain it. Spinach, spinach seeds. That's that's the next one. Um, easy to cook. You can you don't have to cook it. You can eat it raw. 
uh, they had loads of vitamin A and C, as well as iron, uh, minerals such as potassium and magnesium. Uh, you kind of get where I'm get going with this, don't you? Uh, and it, this stuff can be grown, and it grows relatively fast. So you can grow it in cold months. You can gr grow it through the 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 warmer months. Um, really easy to grow. And our next one is ki kind of interesting because, yes, they do have potato seeds. So, but um, potatoes, uh, potatoes are, are r really good. They contain potassium, copper, uh, B6, and they're really good to fill you up and they just one plant can produce a, a lot of potatoes. And the more of these that you plant, the more that you can, and they're good to store. You can, you can store them. There's many of uh, d d disease resistant varieties. Um, there's all kinds of different colored ones and they're, it, it's just a good crop to grow. And like I said, you can actually get potato seeds and then grow from there. But most of us use uh, to, uh, potato sets. Um, it's just parts of a potato that has started with their, the eyes are growing and you see it starting to vine off. Um, you just cut those off, pack it in a little bit of uh, lime dust and Plant, dig, a, dig a hole and plant it, and pretty soon you'll have potatoes. Our, our next, next one is our last one, and it is corn. There's so much you can do with corn. Uh, if you live in a sunny area or whatnot, have a sunny plot of land that you can use for corn, it is a really good crop to grow. It has iron, vitamin B, and is a great source of carbohydrates. You can also make uh, use it for, to make all sorts of other foods like cornbread. Um, corn is a wind pollinated, so you don't necessarily need bees or birds or anything like that. And I would suggest. It, unless you have a really big area, uh, you can grow it in little clumps, and you want to grow it close enough to where all the all the the stalks can get pollinated by the wind blowing. Um, and like I said, it, it's it's a great crop to grow. Um, and there there's multiple uses for the whole plant itself uh the silks of the plant can be used in, in tinctures and all all kinds of stuff uh but those are my five plant or five seeds even though some of them are not seeds but you can get potato seeds uh these are five seeds that i would uh store in my pantry my bug out bag or whatever just to where I'd have that, that, not that, those seeds. <laughs> um, other than that, guys, I would wanted to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And like always, God bless.